Hello. In our last class, we discussed about the irrational numbers. In this lecture, we will discuss the decimal expansion of real numbers to identify whether a number is rational or irrational. We will use long division method to convert a rational number in its decimal form. Let us start with three examples. 5 by 2, 6 by 8 and 6 by 7. Now, can you divide 5 from 2? Yes, if we write 5 in the dividend, 2 in the divisor, then the quotient obtained is 2.5 and the remainder which is left is 0. That is 5 when divided by 2 gives us 2.5 as the quotient. Similarly, 6 by 8 gives us 0 0.75 and 6 by 7 gives us 0 0.857142857 and so on. Let us take few more examples. Let's say 192 divided by 125 or 29 by 12 or 47 by 11. Now, if we divide 192 from 125, the quotient which we get is 1.536. If I divide 29 from 12, the quotient or the result is 2.4166666 and so on. And similarly, when 47 is divided by 11, the result is 4.272727 and so on. This is how we convert a rational number into its decimal expansion. If you have looked carefully, you might have noticed something. Decimal expansions of fractions like 5 by 2, 6 by 8 and 192 by 125 terminated after a certain places after the decimal point. That is, the remainder becomes 0. Like 5 by 2 is 2.5, 6 by 8 is 0 0.75 and 192 by 125 gives us 1.536. But that of fractions like 6 by 7, 29 by 12 and 47 by 11 keeps on repeating itself at regular intervals. That is, the remainder never becomes 0. Let us take one example into consideration that is, 6 by 7. So, if I divide 6 by 7, then 0 comes in the quotient, which makes it 60. Then 8 comes in the quotient, which gives us the result as 4. And if we keep on moving, we'll see that something like this comes in the result. Or we can say, that this division keeps on going. Now, if you see, we started from 6 here and we have come back to 6 here. That is, if I move any further, the result or these digits in the quotient will repeat itself. Those fractions whose decimal expansion terminates after a certain number of places following the decimal point are known as terminating decimals. And those fractions whose decimal expansion does not terminate, instead repeat itself after a regular intervals following the decimal point are known as non-terminating recurring decimals. I repeat, those fractions whose decimal expansions terminate after a certain number of places following the decimal point are known as terminating decimals. And those fractions whose decimal expansion does not terminate instead repeats after a certain number of places following the decimal point are known as non-terminating recurring decimals. So, if you are given any fraction and asked whether it is terminating or non-terminating type, you can do its long division and find out. Since all the fractions can be represented in the form p by q, so they are all rational numbers. So, if the decimal expansion of any number is terminating type or 
non-terminating recurring type, then the number is a rational number. Let us take more examples. 7 by 4. Now, if I do its long division, then the result of 7 by 4 comes out to be 1.75. That is, 7 by 4 is equal to 1.75 or we can say that 7 by 4 is a terminating type rational number. That is, its decimal expansion terminates after a certain number of places. Similarly, 25 by 3, it is a non-terminating recurring type rational number. Or we can say that its decimal expansion is non-terminating recurring or it starts repeating itself after a certain number of places. Similarly, 58 by 13 gives us 4.461538461.53 so on. That is, it is also a non-terminating recurring type decimal number. We can also convert a decimal expansion to its equivalent rational number. Let's take a decimal number, for example, 2.6. Now, 2.6 can be written as 26 by 10 if we omit its decimal point. If I simplify 26 by 10, it gives us 13 by 5. So, we can simply say that 2.6 is equal to 13 by 5. Now, let us take a non-terminating decimal like 0.33333 and so on. Now, we can write this number as 0.3 bar. This bar here represents the set of numbers which are repeating itself after a certain number of places. If I see my original question, it's 0.33333, that is, the number 3 repeat itself after every place, so we'll write it as 0.3 bar which signifies that this 3 here repeat itself continuously. Let us learn how to convert it into a rational number. Convert 0.33333 and so on into an equivalent rational number. Here, let x is equal to 0.33333 and so on. Or we can say x is equal to 0.3 bar as 3 is repeating itself after every place. Then if I multiply it with 10, we get 10x is equal to 3.33333 or we can say that 10x is equal to 3.3 bar. Now, if I name this equation as equation 1 and this equation as equation 2, then from 1 and 2, we can say that 10x minus x is equal to 3.3 bar minus 0.3 bar. 10x minus x gives us 9x which is equal to 3 as 3 bar and 3 bar cancel out each other. This gives us x as 3 by 9 which simplifies to x is equal to 1 by 3. So 0 0.33333 and so on or 0 0.3 bar is equivalent to 1 by 3. Let us take another problem. Convert 0 0.3171717 and so on into an equivalent rational number. Here, let x is equal to 0 0.3171717 and so on. We see that 17 repeats itself after a certain number of places. So, we can also write x is equal to 0 0.317 whole bar. Now, 
If I multiply this equation or this relation with 10, we get 10x is equal to 3.17 whole bar. The reason for multiplying this relation with 10 was to remove or you can say isolate this non-repeating number from the repeating number which is 17 whole bar. So now we have 10x is equal to 3.17 whole bar. Since there are two digits in the repeating number or we can say there are two digits which repeat itself after regular intervals, we will multiply this relation by 100. Multiply the above relation by 100 which will give us 1000x is equal to 317.17 whole bar. Let this be our relation 1 and this be our equation 2. If we subtract equation 1 from equation 2, we get 1000x minus 10x is equal to 317.17 whole bar minus 3.17 whole bar. This gives us 990x is equal to 314 as 0.17 whole bar cancels each, each other. So, if I simplify this, it becomes x is equal to 314 divided by 990 that is, x is equal to 157 by 495. So, we can say that 0 0.317, and so on is equivalent to 157 by 495. Let us take another example. Convert 2.1666666 and so on into an equivalent rational number. Here, let x is equal to 2.16666 and so on. Now, since 6 is repeating itself after a certain number of places, we can say that x is equal to 2.16 bar. If I multiply this relation by 10, we get 10x is equal to 21.6 bar. Now, since only one digit is repeating itself after a certain number of places, so we'll multiply this relation with 10. So, multiply the above relation by 10. This will give us 100x is equal to 216.6 bar. Now, let this be our relation 1 and this be our relation 2. If we subtract equation 1 from 2, we get 100x minus 10x is equal to 216.6 bar minus 21.6 bar. The 6 bar and 6 bar cancels each other and it becomes 90x is equal to 195, which on simplification gives us x is equal to 195 by 90, that is x is equal to 49 by 18. So, 2.1666 and so on is equivalent to 49 by 18. I think by now you've understood how to convert a rational into its decimal expansion and vice versa. We've also learned how to identify a terminating type or non-terminating recurring decimal and that it is always rational. But what if a number is non-terminating, non-recurring decimal? Suppose I write 1.12123 one two three four five 
one two three four five six seven and so on this number is neither terminating nor non terminating recurring so those numbers whose decimal expansion are non terminating and non recurring are known as irrational numbers i repeat the numbers whose decimal expansion are non terminating and non recurring are known as irrational numbers consider the decimal expansion of pi and root 2 pi is equal to 3.14159265385958 and so on it keeps on going up to more than 1000 places similarly root 2 is equal to 1.414213562 and so on both these numbers are irrationals if you remember them from the last lecture now look at the decimal expansion you will see that both are non terminating and non recurring type decimals so an irrational number will always have non terminating and non recurring decimal expansion let us form more irrationals all we have to keep in mind is that the decimal expansion should be non terminating and non recurring like say 1.152152415246 and so on or 7.29826125224326 and so on and you can form many more on your own in the same way we can find an irrational number between two rational numbers also like for example find two irrational numbers between 3 by 11 and 5 by 11 to find irrational numbers between two rational numbers we will first have to write their decimal expansion so 3 by 11 is equal to 0.272727 and so on similarly 5 by 11 is equal to 0.454545 and so on now you can add as many irrationals as you can all you have to remember that they should come in between these two decimal expansion here we can say 0.313423730 332 and so on and 0.352563829103293 and so on are two irrational numbers between the rational numbers 3 by 11 and 5 by 11 now we also know how to identify an irrational number and how to add irrationals between two rational numbers with this we have come to the end of our today's class see you again soon until then keep practicing and have fun goodbye